Okay, I got this from Guy Jackman at my P.O. box. And then I got this lovely card from him and I'm going to redo what it says. Wow. <laughs> Wow, yeah, I, I've just been so busy. I actually got this several days ago, and I just haven't had time to... Empress Pre President Gail Schuller. <laughs> haven't had time to open it yet. I've been so busy doing Gail Commandments 2.0. My dearest Empress President Gail, may this Christmas be your best ever. I want to make sure I've got... And the coming year be the best year on record as you settle into your new abode of safety and security. <laughs> Where you will ultimately make your marriage bed with Brent. Does he know something I don't know? <laughs> Though I wouldn't complain about this. Merry Christmas! That the heavens have provided for your move to safety and security is ample evidence of your own heavenly and Christ-like nature. It is no wonder that you are the favorite person of Jesus and billions of us mere mortals across the planet. And indeed, throughout the universe and every dimension. Those are all Bibles over here, by the way. <laughs> um, words cannot fully express the gratitude I feel for all that you do for us all. Well, thank you, Guy. With divine devotion, much love, hugs, and kisses, XOX from Guy Jackman. Now, let me read what he wrote on the other side. Uncle Hugh, that's, yeah, he is um, the nephew of Hugh Jackman. Uncle Hugh has asked me to send you the enclosed present in secret. Oh, it's from Hugh Jackman. <laughs> Because his so-called wife, my Auntie Deb, oh, I'm wearing, I'm wearing Brent's jewelry right now, and this is a, a wedding ring that, uh, that Brent got for me, which Jesus paid for. Isn't that beautiful? Or an engagement ring. Because my, his so-called wife, my Auntie Deb, whom he has told me he has never loved and only married for convenience, is a very nasty, insecure, bitch. Oh dear. <laughs> and I also believe Auntie Deb is one of Lori's Jesuits. Auntie Deb always has a foul odor emanating from her vagina. I gave her Vagisil wipes, wash and powder, but that didn't work at all. <laughs> didn't work at all, which is why our whole family can't stand being around Auntie Deb as her rotten vagina is just like her evil rotten personality. Oh, I'm really sorry to hear about this because I heard that he found a good clone of his so-called wife to work with. Apparently that, was in it, that wasn't true. <laughs> the present is only value, valued at $3.85 million, which is exactly half the amount that Jesus and Brent spent on your engagement ring. <laughs> I'm really curious what's in this bag. <laughs> because Uncle Hugh knows that you only love him half as much as Jesus and Brent love you. Only love him half as much as Jesus and Brent love you. <laughs> and he is okay with that so long as he can ravish you in the Millennium Room. <laughs> That's the reason I had the... Yeah, there's a millennial version of me, a future version of me, that's in a Millennium Room in Church of Gale. And all the men on my ex-marriage list are allowed to go in there and make love to her whenever they want. I did that to make it up to them for being on my marriage list and because I want to save myself for Brent. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not going to be making love to Jesus, by the way. <laughs> Satan and Lori McBride believe that, but it isn't true. He, his bride is the church. You say, well, Jesus paid for the ring. Yeah, but his bride is the church. I'm his favorite in the bride, but his bride is the church. He does 11-dimensional lovemaking. I've, I've talked about that in another video. P.S. Sorry about my messy handwriting, but Lori was brain controlling me to stop me telling you just how much you are loved because she is jealous of you. 
Actually, I think your handwriting is very cool. That's not messy. I think it looks great. Okay. Oh, that a couple of areas we had to cross over. She does that to me, too. So, so thank you, Guy, and thank you for sticking up for your uncle. I'm really curious what's in here now. <laughs> so, what did Hugh Jackman get me? <laughs> you say, how did he get on your marriage list? I watched a movie that he was in, um, <laughs> and I, I saw an aspect of his... Oh, Lori's giving me amnesia about that movie. What movie was it, Jesus? Can you overcome this amnesia? Um, it was a comedy, a, a fantasy comedy, and he was this guy from the past who uh, showed up as a lover for uh, the Meg Ryan character. I can't remember the name of the movie, but he was in it, and I thought he, I thought he was super cool in that movie. <laughs> So, I kind of, I have a very high emotional IQ, so. <laughs> is he like that? In some ways he is, in some ways he's not, you know. I mean, he's, but that's where I noticed him. Um, and he was a, he, he saved Brent's life on several occasions, too. So, so I'm hoping that, uh. I'm processing my Patreon video at the same time that I'm doing this, and I'm just hoping that it, I'm not overwhelming my computer. I guess I'll find out. Oh. Oh, that is... Sorry about the way I ripped that off, but I, I'm really curious. Oh, okay. let's see here. I'll go ahead and put it inside, put all the stuffing inside of here. Huh. That's cute. <laughs> Oh my, 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 my. So it's in here. Let's make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, that's all stuffing in there. <laughs> so, goodness, I've already got one ring. <laughs> According to Guy Jackman, Hugh's been in there for months in the Millennium Room ravishing my millennial form. She's apparently drop dead gorgeous. See, in the millennium, your beauty is determined by your inner beauty. And because Jesus considers my inner beauty to be absolutely brilliant and beautiful, my millennial form is drop-dead gorgeous. I look like Miss Universe a million times over. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, our 11-dimensional appearance is based on our inner beauty. That's probably why Jesus said that. Yeah, in the millennium, no amount of plastic surgery you do is going to fix an ugly heart. If you have an ugly heart, you will be ugly in the future millennial reign of Jesus. Okay, I'm going to open this thing up. I'm surprised I got this. You say, was it hard? Maybe that's why Lori sent the snowstorm. She didn't want me to get this. I don't know if she knew about it or not. Um, I, sometimes my men can hide these things from her. Who's calling me? Oh, I think I've got a package. <laughs> Oh, well, they'll probably leave a message. I'll answer it later. I'm pretty sure I got a package. That's what they're calling about. So they call me here when I get a package. She'll leave a message. Okay. Oh, how? What is that made out of? Let me see what it says here. <laughs> doesn't tell me well I guess I can wear it on this side <laughs> that's pretty though but what stone is that huh <laughs> what stone is that it's a little bit big for my finger <laughs> I've got small bones but I, I think I've got something I can use that is pretty though, but what stone is that? Well, thank you very much, you. I'm glad that you've been enjoying the Millennial Gale in the Millennium Room. Thank you so much. That is beautiful. <laughs> now all the men on my marriage list are gonna be sending me rings. 
So you might say, what are you going to do? You're, well, I'm wearing this on. In the United States, this is where you wear your engagement ring on this side. So I don't know what they do in Australia. So this is on this side. <laughs> He's engaged to the millennial gale. So. Oh, that is, that is beautiful, though. Thank you, Hugh. Okay. <laughs> I had no idea. All right. Now... <laughs> That's pretty. Thank you. It, ha it kind of fits my personality, too, in a way. It's, got, um, it's a very natural, authentic-looking ring. Kind of like my natural, authentic personality, you know, because I am a very authentic person. I don't play games. I'm, a, and um, I think that's something that a lot of people find attractive, and maybe that's what Brent, Jesus Christ. I, I'm his favorite. He said, "I'm his favorite of all the humans who've ever existed and ever will exist." Okay, thank you so much. Oh my goodness, there are birds. Those are drone birds. You see them there? Drone birds on my window. Oh my goodness, I can't believe Lori sent her drone birds on my window. Those are drone birds. Jeez. Well, all the birds are dead. Yeah, those are drone birds. Satan and Lori McBride did that. I don't know what, they're, what kind of message they're trying to send by putting those drone birds up on my window, huh? Huh? I don't get it. Okay, now let me go ahead and thank another person. Let's see if I can get this to stay up. Ah. I've had this webcam since about like 2010. <laughs> so let's just bring it up a little bit higher. This might work. They're so jealous. You know, um, I can't believe it. The bird is perched on my window. And he's, he's fluttering his wings like this. Yeah, what kind of a bird is that? It's an English, an English house sparrow drone. I just, I went over to look at them and they flew away. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> I've never seen that happen before. It amazes me what these drone birds do. Okay, um, let me go ahead and open this other present. This is greatly appreciated because this will help me cook. Let's see, I bet it's gonna fit, it looks like it. Oh, by the way, I tried, it's, let me read the note that I got. This is for uh, my pressure cooker and I make lots of rice with this, so I really appreciate this. That is beautiful. I will wear the wing, ring with pride. I'll have one on this finger and then one on this finger. This one's from Brent and Jesus, and this one is from Hugh Jackman. Thank you. Okay. So I'm going to have to get uh, something to keep. It's a little big for my finger. Yeah, I wear like ring size 5.5. <laughs> but, yeah. He got a pretty small ring, but it's, it's a little... Okay. Thank you. I needed one of these. Because look at this one. Let me take it off and show you. Look what happened to this one. <laughs> it's absolutely broken. This is what it did. <laughs> and uh, and, it's, and it's, I've been using this one since 2010, and it's had it. So let's see if this will fit in here. I'm, sh I'm sure I ordered the right part. Yep, it looks like it will. Oh, this way, this way. Yeah. It's supposed to be a little bit tight, so. Yep, fits perfect. Fits perfect. I need to replace this thing, too. So let's see if I can figure out how to do that. I read somewhere how to do it. Oh. Clean the ceiling ring groove and over pressure plug thoroughly. Wash. Okay. Remove the old ceiling ring and the over pressure plug to ensure it will automatically pop out and release steam. Yeah. Let's see if I can figure out how to do this. I read somewhere. I'm going to have to um, 
read up on how to put the new one in there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I might do that later. Yeah, there, there are. I have read instructions somewhere on how to do this. Yeah, I'll, I'll read instructions on how to do it. But, but this fits. So thank you so much. And uh, to install the oak by pushing the dome side of the ring marked top B into the opening from the underside of the cover. Okay. If you install it by pushing the dome side of the plug into the opening from the oh okay if you install it that way you probably take it out that way too yep i was right it came out ha <laughs> figured that out pretty quick so let's go ahead and put this new one in yeah you can see you can see i've had this for a while uh, let's go ahead and put the new one in there oh i popped it right out so you push the dome side, it'll go right in here. It's in. There it is. So I'm in business. Thank you so much. Yep. So I'm sure my now my my rice cooker is gonna I could I use this for cooking rice will work a lot better. Oh by the way, Brandy admitted to me that she's the one who got my bookcase. And she said she ordered the L-shaped table that I had on my Amazon wish list, which I noticed disappeared right after Christmas. Thank you so, oh goodness. That was Lori McBride. She made me burp. Anyways, now I'm gonna go ahead and show you all my apartment and let you know what I have done thus far. Um, I've made a lot of progress in doing Gale Commandments 2.0. So I'll go ahead and do that next. I'll be going to be using another camera for that. Okay, here's what I got from Brandy. Happy to help you get set up in your new home. The bookshelf and desk are also from me. All the best from Brandy. Yes, thank you so much, Brandy. So yeah, and that pressure cooker ring fits perfectly. That's the bookshelf. That came out very nice. Okay, um, here's what I've done thus far. Um, let me see if I can get this light on here so we can get some more light here. Here's the piano. One of my Patreon supporters got this for me in 2017. And um, it was in that box. Let me just go ahead and show you the beautiful piano. I'm kind of out of practice, but it's beautiful. And I've decided to put it right here. Let me just go ahead and take this cover off for now. So, um... Yeah, because um, I used to be a much better... In fact, Brett Spiner fell in love with me when he heard me play piano and sing. And that was back in the early 1990s. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, kind of put this up here. So, um, uh, when that L-shaped table arrives, I'm going to be putting it right here, because this is where Jesus wants me to put it. And... Um, it's uh that'll get the computer off the floor and the printer off the floor the, obviously the uh surge protection is going to stay down there then my vcr uh, player and all that stuff's going to get off the floor and then i'll be able to move the um stuff that i hear this is the television i'll be able to move all this over here to the closet in obedience to gail commandments 2.0 and I think I'll be able to put the television on top of the computer. I think the L-shaped desk will be perfect for that. This is where Jesus wanted me to put things. He wanted the bed over here. And um, that he wants me to get rid of all the boxes. So I got rid of a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. There was a long table here. I got rid of that. And um, uh, that's because I pared down my files. I went through all my files and removed any files that I don't need, and there were a whole bunch of them that I didn't need. You should have seen what I had in Florida before I moved here. I mean, there were like 10 times as many files as what I have right now. <laughs> and I just thoroughly went through all that and pared it down. And um, so here's, actually, I'm gonna, I'm, I usually keep this stuff, well, yes, but anyways. 
I just opened up a bunch of presents, so this is kind of disorganized. But I, this is my desk. Um, my files are over here now. And I'm going to be throwing out the boxes and stuff like Jesus wants me to do. Here is my closet area. I went through all my office stuff, and I only have stuff in here that I need. Uh, I've organized my clothes the way Jesus wants me to. My, so they're all in one section. So all my clothes are here and in these drawers here. Uh, the computer stuff is right here like Jesus wanted. And um, <clears throat> he wanted the glider here. He didn't tell me where to put the piano, but I decided to put it here because that way I can use my Logitech webcam, the cord's long enough, and push, put it right over here by the speaker and pick up like if I want to record something. Right now my playing is not very good, so I need to get back into practice. Isn't that a beautiful view out there? That's where the birds were. They perched. Um, I was debating on whether to put the piano here or here. I, I mean, because I, um, I wanted to give it surge protection. But I found another surge protector, and so it's plugged into the surge protector over here. These are better surge protectors over here. This is for the computer and my television, like my entertainment center. Uh, the only problem that I have with putting the piano over here is these uh, vents blow out a lot of dust. And believe me, they really do. I have to dust almost every day because of that. So when I run the AC heating system, they put out a lot of dust. And so I don't want that to get in the piano, though I am going to make sure I cover it whenever I'm running the... Uh, during the day, I usually turn off the um, the AC heating and I just let fresh air come in. And, and it is a Gale commandment now that I leave my windows, uh, let the light in. Uh, Jesus wants that. So um, it's actually in the lower 30s out there right now, but they have very good insulation in this place. But it's expected to go into the teens tonight, so I'm probably going to have to shut these windows and run my... Uh, the heater. Um, okay, that is my, um, right there is my, where I do my calisthenics, the exercise mat. Um, I will be throwing that box out. I, I got rid of some books that I never read, and because Jesus said all my books and movies need to be on this bookshelf, um, and, if, and nothing else is to be on here. I did put some up here. Okay, now I do have some clothes here, but these are like clothes that I use when I go right out the door. And I have a spare computer down here, and my vacuum cleaner, and a mop. So basically, items that are similar in function, I'm trying to group together to on. My cookbooks are up here, and I have some other things here, like research for my uh, novels, some cleaning supplies. Um, I've got Rule 13's present down there. She bought me some uh, she talking mushroom, like to grow them myself. Um, in here, my sewing equipment is right in here. And what I'm going to do for sewing is I have re I have repurposed my little I had that little table that I use that I used to eat off of. I'm going to make that my sewing table. So there's my sewing machine. And I'm keeping this chair because when I stand on it, it's great for like if I have to change a light bulb on the ceiling. So I'm keeping that. And then my shoes I store here. In this black luggage, I have like electrical cords. And I forgot what I have in that brown luggage. I think I just have another piece of luggage inside of it. I've got some bedding inside of that. That's a sewing. This is for sewing here. Uh... I have some bags here, like some Walmart bags that I use as bathroom bags, but not a whole bunch because Jesus doesn't want me to store a bag's hardware stuff in here, some cords. And so, uh, yeah, I've got this place very well organized so I could do the Gale Commandments. Now, all the food and cooking stuff is right here like Jesus instructed. Um, so, yeah. Uh, some spices here, clock. One of my Patreon supporters gave me this. And if I start accumulating more spices and 
I might put them over there if I run out of space. I'm using a co upside down cooking sheet to cover where I keep my silverware because the dust from the vent there comes down here and it actually gets on the dishes. Um, you got to wear these masks, so I, I have it by the door. A lot of places you can't go unless you have that. My microwave is here. Um, let's see, I've got kitchen stuff here, uh, garbage bags, I've got stuff in here. Wonderful, good size refrigerator here. See that? And, um, yeah, oh, I was, I'm going to be making ginger steak today. I need, let me get this out and thaw it out a little bit better. Yeah, so I'll get that ready. Um, good size refrigerator there. And this is how I wash dishes in this small place. Uh, basically, in, in order to get everything organized here, I had to get rid of stuff that I don't use. So everything that I have here is stuff that I use or will use. So my canned food is right up here. And I lined the bottom of the shelves with uh, contact paper, but I didn't stick it down so that I won't leave like can rings on the wood because everything here is in really good condition and I want to keep it that way. Um, up here, uh, some more st stuff that I use. So I basically got rid of stuff that I don't use, just like Jesus said, and that's how I'm making a studio apartment work well, work for me. So yeah, um, I got stuff in here. And then I, um, I organized this very well in here. Yeah, because this is kind of rusty. I put little contact, I had some contact paper that I brought with me from uh, Florida. So like my pasta stuff's over here. I keep uh, some of the pots and pans that I use. Um, cookie sheets. These actually, I don't, I'm not really big into cookies, but I do make stuff that requires cookie sheets, like if I cook acorn squash and stuff. So yeah, I've got, I put a lot of thought into where I, I'm putting everything, and uh, it's working out. And then Jesus helped by giving me guidance, and so it's working out really well for me. Now, we don't have a dishwasher, but I never had one in my other apartment. I don't need a dishwasher. I, I've always been a hand washer. <laughs> Yeah, um, Jesus wants me to eat at this table here, and he wants me to keep it clean, and, I mean clear between meals. Uh, so the microwave is over here. Um, when it's on, I usually try to sit over there so, you know, I won't be right in front of it. Uh, right here is um, my lamp, scale commandments. Uh, let's see. I got some stuff underneath my bed. I'm hoping this will be okay with Jesus. I think uh, it's fine. Like That's the television box. Um, I'm keeping as a souvenir some of my old license plates, like from Washington and Florida, though I actually had to turn in the other plates that I had uh, from Florida. Uh, so I mailed them. Okay, so I've got some like extra purses and wallets down there. This is where Jesus wants me to keep this for my lamp and my clock. Like, like I said, I'll be throwing that box out. The, the glider's here, shredder there. Um, that's my mirror. I bought that like in 2003. <laughs> I've got the 2021 calendar. Uh, I'll, probably be, I'll probably have to take that down pretty soon. So, um,. Computer, printer, when I get the L-shaped table, all this stuff's going to be off the floor. And, um, and then I'm going to, this table I will donate to a thrift store. That's what I've been doing with my furniture, donating them to thrift stores that I don't use. And I've been, they've been getting a lot of stuff from me because I donate a bunch of clothes too. So um, that's my DVD player, my Kindle, Paperwhite, my phone. Um... So I am in a, yeah, and then this is where I decided to hang up this stuff because Jesus is the one who told me to set up my computer area like this. So here in the bathroom, uh, they just fixed this for me. This broke and they fixed it. This apartment maintenance is pretty good here. Uh, and here is my kind of like a combo linen closet. It's got stuff that bathroomy stuff, cleaning stuff. So, um linens, my ironing board, uh, beautician stuff. Yeah, I'm way overdue for cutting and coloring my hair, and I'll get around to that. <laughs> uh, 
And um, down here, like light bulbs, uh, laundry detergent. Uh, yeah, I don't. I we have a place, one place in this building where we uh, do our laundry. The, the the machines work better here than at my last apartment, which I, yeah, this apartment's cheaper than the one I had in uh, Florida, but the machines work better. Okay, got batteries and stuff here, uh, and then um. Yeah, I just wore some makeup to get ready for this. <laughs> and um, I, I put like my makeup down in here. So I'm making use of small space. And in here, like laundry detergent, uh, car cleaning stuff, first aid kit. Um, some, yeah, um, this is where I use my Walmart bags. I've got some stuff in here for a... Uh, Bathroom stuff like flossing my teeth, mostly dental stuff in there. This is a shower curtain I brought from uh, Florida, which is working out great here. Um, next time I go shopping, I'm going to get me something with bleach to see if I can remove that. Yeah, um, I think that's some soap residue in there. Uh, so, yeah, and I brought this from Florida so I don't slip. And then, of course, this rug. So... I usually dry, when I drip dry my clothes from the laundry, I use that. I've had this for years. It actually fell apart and I kind of remade it with using safety pins. <laughs> yeah. And I'm hanging my towels here because I don't really like hanging them on that thing. That doesn't dry as well, so I've been using that. My Gale Commandments here. And I read these because I go to because I have urinary frequency. This is a great place to put them because I'm always reading them and reminding myself. This is actually helping to keep the place warm. This is a clever invention because it's nice to have your shower, your bathroom warm when you're taking a shower. <laughs> uh, this is my scale. Okay, so I have done everything. Okay, I'm pretty much moved in. The only thing that I have to do now is um, uh, all the moving boxes are in the trunk of my car except for that right there and then I'm expecting to get a box from uh, from the L-shaped table and then I'm going to put all these in my car and I'll be able to fit that in there. I know a trick on how to get it to fit in my small car and then I have to drive down to a city dumpster and then pay ten bucks to dump all the boxes on. We're not allowed to uh, dump moving boxes in this apartment complex. They don't they have limited garbage space, so <sighs> that's okay. That's why I'm waiting, because I have to pay ten bucks to dump it at the city dump. <laughs> so but as far as uh, the uh, furniture and stuff, I've been able to they have lots of places in this town to donate. A lot of Christian charities. So uh, that hasn't been a problem. There's one really close to me I've been driving and donating all my furniture, extra clothes. They, the only thing they won't take is my boxes. So um, this right here, this right here is, um, it's starting to show some wear, which I find amazing because it's not that old. And, but it's not an emergency, but the uh, chair that Zach put on my Amazon wish list, when somebody orders that, then I'll donate this to the thrift store and then move the chair that I have right there over here, and then uh, then the new chair will go over there. But it's not an emergency, so I appreciate uh, once I get the uh, once I get the uh, L-shaped table, all this stuff's going to go off the floor, and this this place is going to look really nice. So, and yeah, but I pretty much followed Jesus's design. So the only thing I have left to do. I got rid of all the boxes and stuff that I didn't use, including furniture. And um, the only thing I have left to do is assemble the L-shaped table when it arrives. Then I will donate that table, get rid of that box there, and then I'm pretty much all set. Yep. So I just want to thank my su supporters. You've made this possible. And um, I went from a larger place to a smaller place, but following Jesus' guidance and... Uh, uh, I'm doing very, very well, so I cannot complain. I, yeah, I, it was kind of an adjustment going from a larger place to a smaller place. The, the key is you need to get rid of stuff you don't need, get rid of duplicates, just like Jesus said, and make sure that 
that I that items that have a similar function are all in the same place, and then you can make it work. Yeah, that's Jesus' plan. He says he doesn't want just me doing Gale Commandments 2.0. He thinks everybody should be doing it. So thank you so much for your support. As you can see, um, the Jesus has set me up well. I am doing well. I'm in a much better financial position than I was in before. A uh, smaller place, but uh, the people here are really nice. And I don't feel like the people at this apartment complex are trying to be criminal in any way, which was kind of like the feeling I had where I lived before. So it's really uh, nice to be in a place where I feel uh, safe, you know, from those kind of people. So it's they, uh, they're not like greedy, money-hungry people who will do just about anything for a buck, you know. So anyways, um, yeah, and I'm pretty much getting back now to my normal duties, like getting back to my presidential duties and stuff. So, uh, okay, let's go ahead and, uh, I have a, my daily walk video to my Patreon supporters that I'm working on, and then I'll go ahead and upload this to YouTube I appreciate all of those who helped me at my GoFundMe. You made this move possible. And um, I really appreciate that. Uh, like I said, I'm in a much better financial situation here than I was in Florida. But I'm glad that Florida is uh, now getting Gabriel China Fox News since I'm not there because it is the third most populous state in the country and it's good that they're getting the real news. And like Jesus said, everybody should be listening to Gabriel Chana, Fox News, Zero Zero on cable. If you live in a place like Alabama where you don't get it, you can get it at my website, gabrielchana.blog. And here is where I put the card that I got from Guy Jackman and Hugh Jackman, basically. So it's right up here. So thank you so much. So um, I just put it up there. So, uh, thank you so much. I have wonderful supporters. This is the one I got from Australia.